As a global citizen, you know how important it is to diversify your investments and also have the flexibility to travel around the world and plan your tax strategy. The St. Lucia Citizenship by Investment Program is a great opportunity to achieve all these goals at once. This volcanic island in the Caribbean not only has stunning beaches and impressive views, such as the Pitten Mountains, it also offers one of the most varied citizenship by investment programs in the Caribbean, with four different investment routes, including real estate, government bonds, social fund contribution, and business enterprise. And in exchange for investing in the country, you and your family can receive lifelong citizenship St. Lucia. Stay tuned to find out how. Hey there, Global Citizens. My name is Ineej and I'm with Global Citizen Solutions, a boutique investment migration firm helping expats to find their ideal citizenship by investment program outside their birth country. We here believe that everybody has the right to thrive, no matter where home is. And our mission is to match investors to their ideal investment, golden visa program, or tax benefits. You can learn more at globalcitizensolutions.com. Citizenship by investment programs offer foreign investors the opportunity to acquire a second passport in exchange for contributing to the development of a country. Among the advantages of having a passport from St. Lucia in the Caribbean is the possibility of traveling without the need for a visa to over 140 countries, including the Schengen states in the European Union, the UK, Singapore, and Hong Kong. The citizenship by investment process is very straightforward and takes only a few months. There is no residency requirements and no tests. The whole family can be included in the application. Spouse, dependent children up to 30, parents and grandparents aged 55 or over, and siblings under 18 years old. And as a St. Lucia citizen, you can enjoy tax freedoms, such as no wealth, capital gains, or income tax. So, if you want to unlock all these advantages, the first thing is to choose which of the four eligible investment routes is the best for you real estate, contribution to the National Economic Fund, business enterprise, or government bonds. Let's have a look at each of these options. The first one is to invest in touristic real estate. Considering that St. Lucia is considered the world's leading honeymoon destination and the Caribbean's leading adventure tourism destination, it looks like you can't go wrong buying shares of resorts or luxury hotels in the country. You can choose shares of real estate projects pre-approved by the government or buy a boutique property also pre-approved. The minimum investment is $200,000. The second option is to make a donation to the country's National Economic Fund, which supports projects aimed at improving the infrastructure and utilities of the nation. The contribution depends on how many family members are included in the application. The minimum donation is $100,000 for a single applicant or $150,000 for a family of up to four. For larger families, additional dependents can be included for an extra $15,000 each. The third investment option is to buy government bonds which are non-interest bearing and can be recovered after five years. In this case, you must buy at least $300,000 in national action bonds. Finally, you can invest in an enterprise project pre-approved by the government in areas such as cruise ports and marinas, speciality restaurants, infrastructure and offshore universities, among others. The minimum amount for a sole investor is $3.5 million, whereas if you apply as part of a joint venture, you must contribute a minimum of $1 million in a project that is worth $6 million in total. To find out more about this, check out our St. Lucia Citizenship by Investment Ultimate Guide. The link is in the description of this video, or you can get in contact with us directly on globalcitizensolutions.com. You can book a 30-minute call with one of our experts free of charge, and if you have any questions about the Caribbean citizenship, don't miss that chance. Last but not least, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.